Welcome to Pikeville History Moments, where we talk about the history and heritage of Pikeville, Kentucky, and the surrounding area. Today, we're talking about Bessie R. Arnold, the first woman elected to a Pike County public office. Later, we'll take a look at a coincidental connection she had to another pioneering woman in Kentucky politics. Two days ago, many of us headed to the polls to participate in the November 2020 election. Residents who live in the heart of downtown Pikeville vote in the Bessie R. Arnold precinct at the Pike County Courthouse. How many of these voters know who Miss Arnold was? Or why the most central most precinct in Pike County bears her name? Bessie was born shortly before Christmas in 1902 to two teachers, Tandy and Bessie Riddle. Her mother, unfortunately, passed before her first birthday. At the age of 13, Bessie attended the Pikeville Collegiate Academy and began to work part-time in the Pike County Clerk's Office. It was reported that she was a deputy clerk by the time she was 18. In this photo of the Pikeville Collegiate Academy's 1921 women's basketball team, the second player from the left is identified as Bessie Riddle. Bessie served as deputy clerk until 1933 when she ran for county clerk and became the first woman elected to a Pike County public office. She won by nearly 10% of the vote. That's quite impressive when you consider the context of this time in history. The 19th Amendment to the Constitution granting women the right to vote was ratified in November of 1920 and the Kentucky Legislature had made the necessary changes to their laws in 1921. In her first bid for re-election four years later, she began a trend by gaining more votes and winning by larger margins than all other candidates on the ballot for public office. In the following years, she would continue to win races, eventually becoming elected to eight terms for a total of 29 years of service. In a 1991 article in the Appalachian News Express, it states, Bessie loved everybody and everybody loved Bessie. In a lesser known part of our local history, Catherine Langley, also from Pikeville, was elected to the United States Congress for two terms beginning in 1927 as a member of the Republican Party. It's extremely interesting that a small and isolated town in rural eastern Kentucky was on the forefront of women entering into politics only a few short years after women were given the right to vote in the United States. Miss Arnold was a major player in democratic politics and was admired across the state. In 1927, former governor and United States Senator J.C.W. Beckham decided to run for another term as governor. His campaign appointed Miss Arnold to direct the Women for Beckham Group in Pike County. She also served in a similar role for President Franklin Roosevelt's election team during the 1936 campaign. In 1941, she served as Secretary Treasurer for the Kentucky County Clerks Association. Perhaps her largest contribution was her pioneering influence on the other women in Pike County. In 1950, an article in the Louisville Courier Journal made note of the fact that six women from Pike County held elective office at that time. In addition to Miss Arnold, there was Pearl Runyon, the treasurer of Kentucky, who was the first statewide office holder from Pike County. Lucille Pruitt was the quarterly court clerk. Willa May Wells was the federal court clerk. Lucille Smith was the tax commissioner and Esta Conway, mother of former Kentucky First Lady Judy Patton, succeeded her husband, Roy Conway, as sheriff after he was killed in the line of duty. Two of these women, Miss Runyon and Miss Smith, had each served 14 years as deputy clerks under Miss Arnold. When asked about their success, Miss Arnold said, 
I guess it's just that we try to do a good job in office and be pleasant with the people. I don't think being women has anything much to do with it. Another deputy clerk, Lillian Pearl Elliott, began working for Bessie in 1944 and was elected as county clerk in her own right in 1985. She would go on to break Miss Arnold's record for time in office by serving 30 years. Bessie Riddle Arnold died while in office in January of 1962 after a short illness. She was succeeded in her post by her father. Another interesting coincidence in the life of Bessie Riddle Arnold was that she was connected to another political pioneer. When Miss Arnold's mother passed in 1903, the Big Sandy News published a long obituary. The author heaped praise on the 25-year-old teacher and her young family, noting that the funeral was one of the largest Pikeville had yet seen. The author wrote, in part, Bessie Riddle's death shocked and grieved the entire community. She was one of the finest characters we ever knew. Her sweet, womanly attributes might well have made her a model for others. Her sweet, gentle training and kindly advice were an inspiration to the little children placed under her charge. The author of the obituary was Mary Elliot Flannery. Miss Flannery had been a Pikeville resident but moved back to Boyd County in 1912 and was the first woman elected to the Kentucky State Legislature in 1921. Unfortunately, she passed just before Miss Arnold was elected to her first term. It was likely that a young Bessie Riddle would have been cheering from afar when Miss Flannery won her election. One can only wonder if their connection to Pikeville resulted in correspondence or maybe friendship. We can only speculate, but it would seem certain that Bessie Arnold, when reading her mother's obituary later in life, would find the author's name, Mary Elliot Flannery. It's likely Miss Arnold took inspiration from such a touching tribute to her mother penned by the first woman elected to the Kentucky State Legislature. Bessie Arnold also had a brother. You may have heard of him, and the evidence of his pioneering feats still stands atop the Pike County Courthouse today. But that's a story for another time. Thank you for watching Pikeville History Moments. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe, or click the link to our website at visitpikeville.com. If you know of any other community leaders that Bessie Riddle Arnold helped nurture, we'd love to hear from you. Please comment on the video or email us at tourism at pikevilleky.gov.